Uh, Shalom. You know, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Makakadash, the bonus to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone, peace and salutations to the Akiyam, and to the elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of this earth, first in his truth and his faith and his sincerity. I'm the brother Shema from the GMS Youth and Camp. And in this lesson, I'm going to be going to this news article that you see pulled up right here. Going into more, you know, um, <laughs> draconian measures and rules and, you know, mandates that this man is pushing. This man is pushing forth because he has an agenda that he's trying to accomplish. And, you know, he's not going to stop, you know, until, you know, he get his plans in effect until the plans that the elites have down, you know, come to pass. See, and that's why he's moving this way. You know, the Mosai is basically pushing this man to do this because the Mosai is in control. Let me get that first. Uh, I believe it's this right here. It's 21. Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whatsoever he will. So the king, who, who is the king of today? All right. Which basically, well, really the elites aren't controlled, but the face of the elites is basically the president. You see, so the most high, he controls their minds, you know, into making particular decisions, you know, and uh, decrees and and mandates. It's the most high that's, that's, that's making them do this so that, you know, he could bring chaos, you see, so he could jumpstart, you know, uh, the destruction of this place and get it get it kicked off. Right, but it says U.S. to mandate the juice for all border crosses in January. It says President Joe Biden will require essential non-resident travelers crossing U.S. land borders, such as truck drivers, government and emergency respond response officials to be fully juiced up Beginning on January 22nd, the administration plan to announce. So it says truck drivers, right? It says government and emergency response officials. Right? You got to take that thing. And they're putting dates on it like you have to. This is what you got to do. You see, you know, and, and truck drivers, you see, what did the truck drivers do? The truck drivers bring food, you see, from one place to another. The truck, the truck drivers is how you got food in the stores right around America, right? And if you have a shortage of truck drivers, right, you're going to have a shortage of food. What is that going to bring? It's going to bring famine, right? And what famine is going to bring? Famine is going to bring chaos. You see, all these, this is just the, uh, the, 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 the perfect mixture, right, for chaos, right? And so Esau could, could come in. You know, and um, and lay down even more, you know, mandates and and, and, and rules. Let's call it order out chaos, order out of chaos. You see, and it says that uh, let me see. It's another part of this article. Start right here. Even with the delay. Though Norita Taylor, spokeswoman for the trucking group owner, operator, independent drivers association, criticized the vaccination requirement, calling it an example of of how unnecessary government mandates can force experienced owner operators and independent truckers out of business. See, so hey, if they go out of business, then you know, or even just a, a major shortage of them, hey, it's gonna be America gonna feel that. It's gonna be a, it's gonna impact. The stores and people greatly because they're not prepared for it. These people are, are into, you know, getting getting their food fast or getting things fast. See, 
This is a, a, a microwave society. Right, these people, they like to eat at will. Like, whenever they want it, and when, you know, they, they go to a store to go get it. Right, but when them, when them shelves are empty, you see, it's gonna bring, it's gonna bring chaos. Alright? People are gonna change. Their mindsets are gonna change. You see, they're gonna go into survival mode. This is second, this is 15. And five, behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. So these things are going to happen because of, of wickedness. There, and the most high, he got he got some plan for these people. See, because this, this society has been thriving in wickedness for so long. And the most is about to put an end to it by bringing these horrible things to pass. It says, Therefore, said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. He ain't holding his tongue no more by his prophets. The prophets are speaking his word, condemning. You see? And also, he bringing these prophecies to pass. See, the Most High is about to start acting on a higher level. You see, he's making himself known. It says, Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Right? You got the the elect of the men of the Lord that's down here sighing and crying. And you also got spirits in the spiritual realm sighing and crying. Right? About, you know, taking this man down out of power. So what that's gonna lead to? The most out here is our prayer. So hey, this this the things that are that are happening unto this place, you know, the the horrible and terrible thing that you hear, it's because of, you know, we we praying unto him. We 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 be putting curses on this place and everything. What you think gonna happen? You see, and also this man gotta pay for all the bloodshed. So yeah, he gonna the most high is gonna speed things up, right? He said the day's gonna be shortened for the elect's sake. He said, and therefore, thus said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them, right? Because the Most High, it, what it says in Revelation 18, it says that this judgment, you know, that is that is coming to pass, are, are going to be for the, uh, the 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 holy apostles and the, and, the, and, the, and the prophets. The Most High said, rejoice, for He had uh, avenged you upon her, which is Babylon the Great, which is America. He said, Behold, my people as well as they flock to the, slaughter, to the slaughter, I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. See, so the most side is gonna it's gonna be a deliverance of the remnant, right? Which is the elect. He said, But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. See, so this is a spiritually Egypt, Revelation eleven and eight. You know, the most side is gonna bring plagues upon this place. Right, just like he brought them upon ancient Egypt before our people got delivered. Right? He's gonna do the same thing in this society. It just is gonna be a smaller remnant to be saved. See, these 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 plagues gotta come upon this place just for us to get up out of here. Everything gotta happen just as it is written. See, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn, for the sea shall fail through the blasting and hail and with a fearful consolation. Right? Which that's going to the farmers and everything. Hey, that's going to bring a famine as well. See, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw it nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hands. See, so people going to be rising up against each other. Right? Swords is talking about guns and all type of weapons. So they're going to be fighting against one another. Because it's going to be a crazy time. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another, right? They're going to be up, uprising or rising up against the government. You see, because of these mandates and because of these um, unlawful decrees, it's going to get these people riled up and pissed off. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So they're going to be doing whatever they want to do. See, they're not going to be listening to presidents or or the government 
or the police or any of that. They're not going to be worried about none of that. You see, all that going to be out the window. They're going to be doing whatever the fuck they want to do. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So they're going to be robbing one another and stealing from one another because of the lack of things that's going to be in the society because of things like this, just mandates like this. You see, and, and he knew it. See, he wanted he wanted to, to to happen, so he can make his next move. All these things are planned out, right? But the Lord is behind it all, and the Lord got His own agenda as well. You see, and the elect will be protected. You see, so you know that was the lesson. You know, brothers, edify with that. I'm gonna say, shalom.